this is a video game streaming series that I've been thinking about for quite a while. Uh, I've called it the Steam Librarian. It's a pun. It, take it what you want. Um, basically, I have my Steam library. It's huge. Uh, I have bought too many games. I have 300 games now. 300 plus games. Um, the majority of which I have never tried. I've never installed them. I've never even um, tried playing them for a couple of minutes. Um, so, and I probably never will unless I have some kind of reason to to play them. So my idea is that I will play through my Steam library uh, one game at a time, and I will do streams of each game and uh, kind of talk about them and my impressions and so on. So some of these games are really well-known games that I myself know really well and some of them are games I've played. Some games I have actually played through and I've finished. Uh, but I will play them all on this stream uh, series. Um, so... Uh, but some, a lot of the games are not very well known, and some games are games that I've never heard of uh, outside of Steam, um, and I, I've probably forgotten a lot of the games that I've bought, uh, even, so I don't know if that they're there, or if I see their name in the Steam list, I wouldn't remember what they're about or what kind of game they are, um, and some are like uh, medium well-known, like little indie gems. You know, so it's both new games, old games, all kind of uh, different kind of um, genres. Uh, so it'll be a lot of these different, uh, it's a lot of variety, basically. You in the chat, uh, you can, uh, if you want, and if you are able to, you c can you just tell me if the if the sound is good, if is the sound of my mic uh, okay, then you can can say so. So, uh, anyway, that's the idea with this Steam Librarian uh, streaming series, basically. Uh, so, uh, what I will do, I, I w won't do them all in alphabetical order. That was my idea first, to just do them from, you know, A to Z. Um, but I will actually try to do some kind of random generator, so it will pick a random game each each time, uh, just because that's more fun, it's more variety than if you know, like, okay, I want to see, um, I don't know, I want to see a game that begins with T, and then you know you can't, will not watch it for, like, three years. Um, so, uh, but I will start with the first game on the list, uh, and that's a game, that it's highest up on the list, because it's the only game I have that starts with a number, um, or no, I have two actually, but this one starts with a one, so that's its first. Um, and uh, I've been waiting to play this for quite a while, because it looks pretty good, it looks pretty interesting. It's not a game that I've read a lot about, it's not a game that uh, I've heard a lot of hype about or anything. I just saw it on Steam, it had good reviews, I got it, and I've never tried it. So th this is the game that I'm going to play today. 1979 Revolution Black Friday. Uh, so, basically, hang on. I've got uh, something here from... Ah, okay. I thought it was like a... Ah, cool. Um, it was just a, a friend who... I thought she was maybe complaining uh, that she didn't see the stream. But it was just a computer emoji. Um, sound is okay, great, great to hear that the sound is okay. Uh, so, this is the game I'm going to play today, uh, 1979 Revolution Black Friday. So basically this is a game about the revolution in Iran in 1979. Um, I don't know a lot about it, uh, except for that uh, ruling, um, about the revolution, I mean, not the game. Uh, the only thing I know about the revolution is that before it, it was a very kind of westernized USA-supported government with the Shah being like a king, like an almighty 
kind of dictator ruler. And then in 1979, he got ousted by like a, uh, the people rising up. Uh, and then after 1979, uh, um, Muslim kind of um, uh, Islamic uh, priest dictatorship basically took his place. So it's just one dictatorship um, exchanged for another one. That's what I know. That's what like my what my takeaway has been from it. But I don't know very much about it. But it's, it feels very interesting to play. Um, and just because, because like uh, his like historic events. Uh, that are not uh, wars are very very seldom portrayed in games uh, which I find very interesting it's like I've played so many wars in games I've played the first world war the second world war um, the Vietnam war uh, the Kuwait war the Iraq war the Afghan war uh, I've played the Hundred Years' War, the Thirty Years' War, you know, all these, all, all the wars you can imagine, the American Civil War, every war. But I've never played like other kind of more subtle or more kind of, maybe just as dramatic events, but just not violent, maybe in themselves. Even though a revolution, this revolution was probably violent as well, but that's not the only thing that happened. So I just think it's very interesting that uh, these designers have chosen to portray this um, and uh, it's just interesting to see what the game will do with an event that's not uh, a war and how you would portray that and from what I understand it's a pretty narrative game so just some info about the game um, before just for like customer info so it's called 1979 revolution uh, colon black friday uh, so it's made by these ink stories and it's an indie game, so they are both the developer and publisher. Don't know much about them, really. Uh, so it's got like mostly positive reviews. I won't go into a lot more than that. Uh, it's the price is five dollars on Steam, five euros on Steam, which I think is quite a bargain for a for a decent game if the game is is decent, you know. Uh, and from what I've, the little thing I've seen, the graphics looks nice. It looks it's po a polished, good game. Okay, it's not like some shit game. So five euros. Uh, after this video, you can see if you feel it's worth uh, checking it out, picking it up. Um, okay, so without further ado, let's get into the game. Designed as a, yeah, okay, I got, got them on. Got them on. So it's from 2016. So pretty new. Okay. Cool. So here we are. The menu. Uh, straightforward enough. So let's play. Uh, okay, I have just have to reset reset my profile because I uh, reset yes because I did just try it out to test the sound and a little bit like that. Okay, so let's start. Play. Cool. So nineteen seventy eight, thousands of Iranians from the streets have fought for change despite their class religious beliefs and political ideas. Okay, so this is really cool. Based on real stories, real events, and real people, the choices you will make will shape your experience in this revolution and the fates of those around you. I like this already. It feels at once a little bit like a telltale game, if you play those games. Telltale, uh, kind of like choose your own adventure kind of games, very narrative. Okay. If you're listening to this, then it means you received my package. Unfortunately, this will be my last drop, as I've been forced into hiding. With the U.S. hostage situation, it's become unsafe to get anything out of Iran. You must get okay. these to the press immediately. Okay. Many people's lives depend on it, including my own. If okay. anything should happen to me, you must trust Bibi. So this is the uh, toll I think. I'm worried that our darkest days are still ahead of us. Our darkest days, okay. So this is 78, right? Still? So I'm wondering if these are actual real photos, I would guess. 
It looks like very real photos from the actual time during uh, around the revolution. These are pretty cool. This looks like one of the Islamic leaders, Ayatollah Khomeini. And okay, so you see, it's everyone looks very kind of 70s Western style in these photos, uh, just like their clothing. That I uh, that I rec definitely recognize him, the guy with the beard and the black turban. That's that's uh, one of the Ayatollahs that I know. Okay, so. It says, okay, the U.S. hostage situation he was talking about. Maybe that's like the the Iran hostages. Do you remember what I said when I first oh. joined the revolution? Okay, what should I take? Uh, not violence. No, no, no. The only way to defeat okay, this death. violent regime is through peaceful protest. Papa! They found us. Baby, what's going Brave on? Heart. Grab the plans. We need to go now. Okay. Okay, where is it? Okay, okay. Okay, now maybe I should get ready to. Okay, find the plants. Find the plants before the time runs. Okay, fuck. Quickly, Reza. Reza, what are you doing? Oh. Okay. Okay, this is stressful. As fuck. Okay, hey, hey. Okay, I got it. Secret plants. I got them. I got them. Okay. okay. Okay, BB. So that's is that like my girlfriend or my? So, oh fuck! Come on. Okay. Oh, they caught me. Fuck. Not good. This is good though. Dramatic right from the start. So who is this? Is that Bibi? Whose voice? She got away, I guess. Okay. Okay, let's. Big stories. He ran because of the great leadership of the Shah. So I guess that's the Shah. This is like a proper TV show intro. This is nice. This is good. It's different from a lot of other games. And from the names, I'm guessing that a lot of the developers are actual, uh, like, Iranians or exile Irani Iranians. And I like that it's real footage, that it's like video footage mixed with the, the 3D graphics. Basically, the same in the same ideal. Okay. Violence in Iran cool. has escalated sharply in recent months. The main targets have been cinemas, nightclubs, fashionable restaurants. Okay. So I got captured. Some of you say, but I'm guessing that's the only possible outcome, I guess, from that encounter, maybe. But this looks interesting. And hoping sound is still okay, still good. But I like this. Wow, okay. 1979 Revolution Black Friday. It, the title is a little bit long. Could have just been Black Friday or something. But that would have been, I don't know. I guess, I, I know, I understand why they didn't go with Black Friday as the title. Okay, shit, now I'm in prison. Evin Prison, Iran, in 1980. You're a very lucky man, Mr. The last one was also in 1980, so that was after the revolution. In my former life, I wouldn't have let you live. Drink. You must be thirsty. Reza, your chai is getting cold. Okay, I'll drink it. I don't think he wants to poison me. I think he wants me to talk. This could be a very unpleasant place. Because here at Evin, we are correcting paths. Correcting paths? Is that what you call this? Ah! You will learn not to disrespect oh, me. Fuck! Fuck! <clears throat> okay, this guy is scary. That this is pro this is uh, it's good voice acting, 
You were one have of good us. Writing, we fought side by side to overthrow the Shah. That Western puppet. What changed? I was never one of you. When did you lose your faith? And instead of helping the new regime, you masterminded horrendous acts of violence against us. Are you ready for your redemption? I can save you, Reza. No. You should save yourself. In the eyes of God, I, I am saved. This guy is really intimidating. Oh. They've written him well. It's a good Go dialogue. And the dialogue cho choices so far... To confront your past? The dialogue uh, choices feel very... They feel interesting. They're hard. It doesn't feel like there's one good you. one, one better one than the others. It's very now, kind of tricky how you... Used to identify it's more about how plot against our you want to play Islamic it. How you government. want to play him. What kind of strategy you want. Good offering. Show me an act of good faith, and I will be fair. I guess he wants me to point out, like, my co-conspirators, or like other rebels, I guess. Reza Shirazi, you are charged with treason and conspiring to carry out a series of attacks against the Islamic Republic of Iran. Hmm. How do you plead? Okay, so I just want to, like, pause here for a second. So this is a lot of exposition. Uh, okay, Inget dude from Spelet. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, no sound from the game. I will try to correct that. Uh, why is there no? Okay, so now maybe. So is there sound now? Good, good, good. It, it was because it's uh, I had to get one f the sound from these, so that's the um, that was the main thing. Um, okay, then we'll continue. So what I was talking about, uh, I think it's it's uh, it's a really well written so far. It's like good dialogue. The dialogue choices aren't there aren't isn't a clear good one. It's really tricky and. The, just this first guy, they managed to make him really intimidating. But also, what's really nice is that they managed to have like exposition, like telling you what's happened and what's what the background story is. They they're doing it right now, but it doesn't feel forced. It doesn't feel like they're just like you know throwing a bunch of exposition text on you. It's it feels very natural. Okay, I know it's in 1980, so I know it's after the revolution. He calls it the Islamic State of Iran, so I know. The Islamists have won, and he's like charging me with my crimes. So I kind of know that I've have been, f and he was like, we were at the same page before. We used to fight for the same thing. So I know I've kind of joined the revolution in the beginning, but then I must have somehow I've turned against the Islamists because uh, I didn't want to go with them. So that that's the, the my character anyway. So it's just a nice. Um, um, nice little touches in the writing that it, it feels kind of smart and natural. So, mm. does it really matter how I plead? Do you know what we do to traitors here in Evan Prison? Torture them until they make a confession? <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in this. But you must think of me. I know so much about you, Reza John. I know that you are coming from a very well-connected family who are loyal to the Shah. And I know about your Savak brother Hussein. Leave my brother out of this. I know that upon your return from Germany, you joined our fight against the Shah despite your family's wishes. Hmm. But okay, so he's been living in Germany. What do you know about me? Do you know who I am? I see. My 
name is Asadullah Lajavardi. But you already knew that, didn't you? Now, what is my name? Asadullah Lajavardi. <coughs> I was trying to be non confrontative. Why can't you show me the decency of remembering my name? My name is Asadullah Lajavardi. But here in Evan, they call me. Now, what is my name? Haj Aga. Haj Aga. So what does that See? mean? That wasn't so difficult. Get out. It's a fucking intimidating guy. Get out! <laughs> Okay, so... Sit. Like his pants. His harem pants. So the graphics are nice, I think. I like it. It's kind of... They don't go for like a hyper-realistic style. It's more kind of... Stylized, or how you say it. Uh, it's a little bit cartoony, but still kind of... Not feeling Reza, cartoonish. The three men arrested with you have been executed. They confessed. They told us everything. He's lying, bro. We found your plans to bomb the Revolutionary Guards headquarters. I don't know of any plans. Look, I'm just a photographer. Do you know what this is? It's a cattle prod. Of course you don't. A city boy like you. He's never had a use for a cattle prod. Ah. Until now. I knew it. It takes about 400 milliamps to stop a human heart. <sighs> we don't want that. Not yet, anyway. But 25 milliamps? That burns you from the inside. It's very cinematic. This it could damage an organ. The, the camera careful. angles. It's good. But it's good. Like the movements of the guess. the animations, of the characters are very guess. kind of well directed. They're very natural, very well working dramatically, and like they have different personalities. A clear voice for the machine. Give us all the information about your collaborators and the details of your next target. It looks really nice, actually, this game. I really like the Let's art Let's start style. with your friend, Babak Azad. Babak Azadi. So who is that? Who is he? Where can we find him? Is he the one who recruited you? I don't know. Was he the mastermind behind the attacks in March? It's very leading Bobak. questions. It's not open questions. Oh, is it going to be flashback? Oh, flashback! 